Hey everyone, so I just want to go through a quick example. Um, so what we're going to do, I did an example like this in class, but we're going to, what we're going to do here is we're going to find uh, some angle theta given a specific trig ratio. All right? I just feel like it would be something that people might benefit from seeing again and having in a video so you can kind of go back over. So let's say that we wanted to find all possible values of some angle theta if we know that the sine of theta is equal to negative 0.643. Okay, so we don't know what theta is right now, but we do know that the sine of theta is negative 0 0.643. Okay, um, and again, we're looking for all possible values of theta. So the first step that we need to do here is we need to basically take the sine inverse. All right, so in this case, we're going to have theta is equal to the sine inverse of negative 0 0.643. Okay, so here's the thing. When we take the sine inverse of negative 0 0.643, because of the way that the calculators are programmed, it only wants us to give us uh, wants to give us a value between zero and 180 degrees, essentially. Because typically, a calculator only has to deal with triangles, and a triangle can't possibly have an angle bigger than 180 degrees. So, the answer that is going to be given to us here is almost certainly not going to be the correct answer, and we're going to have to make adjustments. Okay, but it, it will be enough to get us, you know, in the right direction. So when we take the sine inverse of negative 0 0.643, we get negative 40 degrees, okay? So that's, that's not the correct answer in this case because, think about it this way, um, we know that negative 40 degrees uh, is in quadrant 4. Um, so it ac actually would work in quadrant 4, it would be a possible angle in quadrant 4, but let's suppose we wanted to get the positive, positive angles. Uh, of course, negative 40 uh, wouldn't work for the quadrant 3 angle. We know that sine is also negative in quadrant 3, and of course that's not going to help us there. So let's talk about what to do with this value. So again, this is not going to be the real value of theta, but what we're going to say is that this angle that you get is going to share the related acute angle with the actual values of theta. Okay? So we can use this value to get the related acute angle. So this negative 40 degrees, right, that has a related acute angle of 40 degrees. So this would be an angle in quadrant 4, and its related acute angle would be 40 degrees. So what this tells us is that we are looking for basically all possible angles on our Cartesian plane with related acute angles of 40 degrees where sine will be negative because we do have a negative ratio for a sine here, okay? So we want to consider which quadrants sine is negative and we want to make sure that we have a 40 degree related acute angle in those quadrants. So here's my Cartesian plane, okay? Let's just draw it the cast rule, so C-A-S-T. Uh, so where is sine negative according to the cast rule? Well, it's going to be negative in quadrant 3, right? And then it's going to be neg negative in quadrant 4, okay? So we want to consider those two quadrants. So let's start with quadrant 3. So I'm going to draw an angle, well, a terminal arm in quadrant 3, right? We know our angle is going to be in quadrant 3 somewhere. We know it has to have the same related acute angle as this guy up here. So it's got to have a related acute angle of 40 degrees, Okay, so that's our 40 degree related acute angle. And that means that our angle would be 220 degrees, which is, of course, 40 degrees past a full 180 degrees. Okay, so our first angle is 220 degrees. Okay, we know we're going to have a second one, though, in quadrant 4. So let's draw out another Cartesian plane. We have an angle in quadrant 4, right? It has to have a related acute angle of 40 degrees. And so what would that angle be? Well, it's 40 degrees less than a full 360 degree turn. So... That is a 320 degree angle. So in other words, all the possible angles of theta, which are between 0 and 360 degrees anyways, uh, for which the sine of theta is equal to negative 0 0.643, are going to be, well, theta is equal to 220 degrees, and theta is equal to 320 degrees. Okay, so I hope this is going to be useful to you guys uh, when you're doing questions like this. I know that they can be kind of weird. Uh, given the fact that, you know, the, the value that you get when you take the sine, cosine, or tangent inverse is not going to be, you know, the correct uh, value of theta. It's also not going to be necessarily the related acute angle, but, you know, it could be used to find the related acute angle. I hope this will kind of show you how to deal with this. Um, if not, then we, can, of course, can go through it a little bit more in class. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Take care.